Hey, what's up guys, Markel here, Joel TV, and today I'm gonna do a morning and night combined routine. So pretty much my morning and nighttime routine for my beard are the exact same. I wake up, do it, at night do the same exact thing. Nothing changes, I found it pretty successful, and honestly, it's getting better over time the more you stay consistent with it. So I'll go ahead and show you how it goes. Pretty much, first thing first, we'll do a step-by-step. -step. I wake up, and you know, whatever time of day it is, I'll either get a spray bottle, fill it with warm water. You don't wanna use cold water because when you use cold water, it's gonna close up a lot of cuticles and um, follicles, hair follicles. It's gonna close up a lot of hair follicles and you're pretty much not gonna be able to get that moisture into your hair. So go ahead and use warm water so it's gonna open everything up. And even better, most days, if I am hopping in the shower first thing in the morning, I'll hop in the shower, let that steam get in there, let water rush all through it. Obviously that water's hot or warm as well, depending on what temperature it is. But get that all the way through, you know, kinda as you're doing it, you know, make sure the water's pulled through. I'm gonna go do that tonight since it's my nighttime. But like I said, nighttime, daytime, same thing. Um, if you are using a spray bottle, pretty much that's how you do it. Just spray all over, spray above, spray under, just get everything soaking wet and you know, pull it out. Because for me and a lot of other guys, you might have a really curly beard that's just all sucked up together. You know, pull that hair out, make sure water is getting everywhere. So when you put on your moisturizer and your oil, it's being the most effective. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my beard nice and steamy. And when I hop out the shower, I'll go over the rest of the routine. All right, y'all, so as raw as it can get, fresh out the shower. So pretty much you can see my beard's just super soaking wet. You don't wanna put the products in like this because a lot of it will run off. So first thing I like to do is go ahead and get a towel and just pat it dry. Now, obviously don't be scraping it around, you know, rubbing it around real aggressive. You still want a kind of moist beard. So mine, still kind of moist. And you wanna keep it that way because you still wanna keep, water is moisture, obviously. So you wanna keep some of that in your beard. Next, I like to use my oil first. You can use it first or second, it doesn't really matter, but I like to use it first to get some of that slip in there. And then I like to throw in my balm or moisturizer after. So this is just a blend of a bunch of different things that I made. Um, you can get your own oil. I don't really like Jamaican black castor oil because it's pretty thick, but if you use a tiny bit of that and water, it'll work out fine. A lot of people use that in the beginning or the starting stages because it's so good. But after a while, I found it didn't work for me as much. Next, I'm going to use my Lusters. Again, I have a video on this. I got recommended this by a guy whose beard was literally, you can't even see what I'm talking about, but it was down to freaking his chest. So obviously he knew what he was talking about. So he recommended this. There is a beard oil that comes with this. It's in a same looking container. So go to your nearest beauty shop if you are interested and go ahead and try to find that can if you can. Um, can if you can. Next thing you're gonna need is some type of pick. I use this wooden comb from Nettergold that I just bought. You can see obviously this thing is tiny, but nonetheless, it works really good. Another thing that I use or used to use is just a regular pick. Any type of pick is good. I do prefer wooden most. And if you have a starting beard, you know, a small beard, you know, don't be afraid, go ahead and use a brush. Just something to move around the butters, move around the oil, and you know, make it look a little nice when you go in public. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Got a nice moist beard. I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil. You can put it on this, you can, you know, dabble it in. I switch it up, I don't really care, I do whatever. But I get a little bit of oil. And put it all throughout your beard. Then I just like to rub that in. After I put the oil on, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the lusters. And you know, that's pretty good. That's for 
Yeah, there you go. That's a crazy amount. That's like if I'm about to go out in public and I really want my beard to look really nice. So a lot of these beard balms are extremely thick. Um, beard butters should be a lot smoother. So if you like that, I like these thicker ones because you know it doesn't really drain out of my hair. And then this is where you show your hair a lot of the intention and make sure that you want the hair or the skin underneath the hair to be nice and moisturized as well. So don't just do like this, you know, pull it on real fast because while that is good, you're not getting the skin underneath because you might have just a bunch of really dry dead skin underneath. So go ahead and I'm really pressing in. So the hair might be all hair. I'm really pressing in, get a nice good rub on my skin. And that's pretty much it. Once I'm done, I go ahead and get it ready to pick. And I do that by just pulling it out, then I get a little closer. So for my picking, I just do this. Start at one side, I pull it, cause I have really curly hair. I pull it, just slide it through. Then I'll work my way all the way around. For some reason, this side is really curly. So, you know, it's not really anything crazy to go through it, you know, five times. And one disclaimer, a lot of people, when you see them on the beard routine, they're tch, tch, tch. that's not, that's not real. Let me stop you right there. One thing I was freaking out because nobody ever said this, but it's really a thing. You lose, I think, 75 to 100 hairs a day with your beard. Same thing, maybe not as much, but it happens. When you finish picking your beard, you're gonna be pulling out hairs like, okay, I got a lot of hairs. At the beginning, I had hair everywhere. I'm talking bunches of hair. I was scared to pick my beard. So don't be discouraged if you pick your comb at the end and you're like, okay, I got a few hairs. You know, try to strive to keep your hair the most healthiest possible and Eventually, you know, you're picking out only five, six hairs. You know, you're picking out only a few. So if you see hair falling out, completely normal, don't freak out. Also, you're gonna have popping and snagging. That's just the thing. You're not gonna be able to You're gonna go maybe meet um, a knot, pull it out some more, and you might pop the knot, lose some hair. But those are two things that are gonna happen. So don't freak out when you see these master YouTubers going in with their pick and going crazy because it looks good on camera but in real life so like I was telling the guy in the comments just go through your hair a few times until you don't feel any more snagging or until it's like you want it so you might even have some little like you just saw me if you see some little straight straggly hairs go ahead and knock them out And y'all, that's why I recommend these wooden combs because this plastic comb can never do that. Next, you're gonna wanna get underneath. And you see how I'm catching all these knots. This is why you wanna pick it multiple ways because look at this. Easy. Under here. Not nah, right there. And another nut. So you're constantly going to want to make sure you manipulate it from different ways. And that's pretty much my nighttime routine right there. Beard's all done up. A lot of times, one of my, this side goes up and this side keeps down because these hairs are straighter. Go ahead, you know, adjust the beard to where you want it. And you should be good. Um, two things I'm gonna add to this video. As far as shampooing and conditioning, 
I use the same shampoo I use on my hair, on my beard. You can buy all these fancy beard this, beard that, but like I said, when you're in the starting phase, I'm even in the kind of starting phase. Before it gets really big, go ahead and use you know regular products to see how your beard actually works. Obviously use some good products, but you don't need to buy beard this, beard that. I was using Hawaiian Silky 12 in one, 14 in one on my beard and my hair and I turned out just fine. So just go ahead and get some type of moisture and some type of cleanser for your beard and some type of oil. So typically what I like to do, which I definitely don't do, I shampoo once a week. So I'll hop in the shower just while I'm washing and I'll go ahead and shampoo my beard. You know, just same thing, just rubbing it really good, getting the shampoo all foamy in it. Then when I come out, I'll go ahead and deep condition it. Usually you'll find that it's good on like a Sunday and as far as the deep condition, it's harder than your hair. You're not gonna be able to tie a bonnet on it, tie anything on it, and really trap in that moisture. I've tried before where you get a plastic bag and you wrap yourself up, but bro, you're not gonna be able to breathe. You're gonna have a little hole right here looking like a killer. It's not really worth it. So as long as you have that on there, I like to just come with a spray bottle every hour, 30 minutes or so when it feels dry, spray it on some more. So you're really only getting a deep condition in for like, two hours, three hours, however long you can actually stand it. But as far as going to sleep with your beard deep conditioning, that ain't really happening. You're gonna wake up with a disgusting bed, just moisturizer thrown everywhere, clumps of everything. It's gonna look like something happened in your bed. So just go ahead and spare yourself, do it in the daytime, get all that stuff on your beard, then wash it out really thoroughly and re-moisturize and everything like that. But that's the end of my nighttime routine slash morning routine to recap warm water on your beard uh, make sure it's damp go ahead and put your oil in your butter or some type of moisturizer whatever order you want really rub it in then pick it out nice and good you should be looking should be looking pretty fire but i'll catch you guys in the next video later